Now, have you ever answered the telephone only to find there's no one on the line? I think pretty much all of us have at some stage, haven't you? You may, of course, be a victim of a silent call. They happen when automatic dialing machines ring potential customers, but there aren't enough call centre staff to then take the calls when they do get through. Well, Breakfast looked into the nuisance calls last year, and uh, as a result, the watchdog Ofcom promised to take action. One year on, though, has anything changed? Graham Satchel has been finding out. Irritating, frustrating, alarming. Hello, St Mary's Vicarage. They're failing in their legal duty. They have a statutory duty to deal with telephone nuisance, and they're not doing it. John Hemming has put down an early day motion in Parliament calling on Ofcom to implement its own rules. <laughs> Ofcom says it is in the process of making sure companies comply. But in the meantime, millions Hello. of people Hello. are still getting silent calls. And Graham, feel this now. It's amazing, Graham, that it's still going on, isn't it? it? It is exasperating, I think, for people who've campaigned for it, and obviously for people who are still getting these calls. It was a year ago tomorrow that Ofcom uh, first proposed getting tough on silent calls, introducing this new fine, £50,000 if you're found making them. Uh, and the key thing they introduced was that instead of getting a silent call if a call was dropped, you'd get a recorded message. As I said in the piece there, we could only find one call centre. I'm happy to be proved wrong about this. Mm but only one call centre who's actually introduced it. So a year on, uh, it seems to us that not much has changed. Mm. Uh, are Ofcom promising to do anything about it now that we've reminded them? Ofcom uh, say they are taking this seriously uh, and that they're working through a process and that they have to do things properly and it takes time. They started what they're calling an industry-wide investigation in June of this year. Uh, we're now nearly in November, and they're saying they're nearly at the end of that investigation to see if people are complying. Watch this space. There may be an announcement in a week or so. But, as I say, it's a year on, and people are getting very frustrated about all this. Okay. Graham, thank you very much. Graham, as you can see, is with us now. It's quite unbelievable, Graham, that one year on this is still happening. We've been reporting this for more than two years now. Almost three years ago, I think, I did the first piece on this. And Ofcom, a year ago tomorrow, introduced these rules or proposals for these rules to try and get rid of silent calls, an increase in the fines up to £50,000 if you were caught doing it. And the key thing, I think, is to leave this recorded message. So if you can't get through, if the call centre doesn't get through, instead of silence, which people do find menacing mm. and troubling, uh, there is at least this recorded message so you know who's doing it. Uh, as I said in that piece, that we've only been able to find one call centre so far, almost a year on, uh, who is actually doing this. I'm happy to be proved wrong about that. Mm. Uh, but it's very infuriating, very exasperating for people still getting the calls and also, of course, for campaigners who've been trying to stamp this out. Yes, yeah, so what happens next? Well, Ofcom say they are taking this seriously. They have to follow a very kind of clear procedure about this. They've been doing an investigation, they say, since June uh, into whether people are complying with these new rules. Uh, and they've done the analysis and they're now looking at it and they're expecting to announce something the next week or so. But campaigners are saying, well, it's been a year since you announced all this stuff. You're just going to, it's too little, too late. And um, what final bit of information, because most of the emails have been coming saying we still don't know, what do we need to do to stop these calls from coming in? Um, the best thing you can do is sign up to something called the TPS, the Telephone Preference Service, which should stop most of these marketing calls as well as the silent calls. There, sh there will actually be, actually there is now a link to it on our website, uh, bbc.co.uk forward slash breakfast. If you go there and you follow the instructions, it's very easy to sign up and the call should stop. Okay, well let's hope we don't see you in a year's time then on the matter. Graham, thank you very much for now. Thank you. Well, Graham is with us now. Graham, we've just been looking at the emails coming in with lots of people saying even when we sign up to TPS, the Telephone preference service we're still getting calls and they find this astounding given that as you say it's one year on yeah the telephone preference service isn't infallible uh, but it will cut out most of the calls these unwanted marketing calls and particularly the silent calls the trouble with it is if you've ever had one of those forms where it says tick this, tick this box if you don't want to be called and you miss it uh, then they feel free to call you if you're a customer of theirs. That's where sometimes the TPS doesn't work. But the TPS is good, and if you do sign up to it, it will stop most of the calls. But as you say, this has been a year now, a year tomorrow, since Ofcom first proposed these rules to try and get rid of silent calls. And as you see there, people are still getting them. Campaigners are terribly frustrated that Ofcom don't seem to be acting quickly enough. Is this holiday motion, um, with breakfast name on it, uh, in Parliament going to get anywhere? 
Well, you, you know the thing with early day motions, it's really just a way for MPs to sort of vent their anger and mm -hmm. it's a way of putting public pressure on official bodies. Ofcom, um, in their defence, have given us a statement where they say that they are taking this very seriously, that they have to follow the procedures. They're in the middle of what they call an industry-wide uh, investigation to make sure that people are complying with these new rules uh, and that there should be an announcement, we think, within the next couple of weeks. But as yet, no one's been fined. They put the fines up. Uh, but the campaign is saying, what's the point of doing that if you're not going to actually use them? Mm. Mm. All right, Graham. Well, thank you very much for that. And if you do find silent calls still finding them a nuisance, you can find out how to limit them on the website, bbc.co.uk, of course, forward slash breakfast.